Hello, this is 2.3, section 2.3, combined quadratics. This is part two. So I asked you to do this one on your own. D, the vertex ended up being zero, negative two. Make sure the Y was what was with Y, and A value is two. So it opens to the right, up one over two, up two over eight. Okay, so let's flip on over. Graph each of the following, labeled the vertex and then the axis of symmetry. Okay, I'm going to pause right here. I want you to give these two a try. And here are your answers. So on this one, the vertex, negative 1, negative 2. The axis of symmetry is now a y equals because the axis of symmetry is the line that divides the parabola in half. And since it's a horizontal line, or a hoi, it's y equals there. And y is always negative 2. It's the y coordinate of the vertex. So be careful, axis of symmetry before was the x coordinate. But since it's a sideways parabola, it's now the y. So if you try b, hopefully you didn't get mi mixed up on b. Um, it's back to a x squared parabola. So we got to realize if it's x squared, our vertex, our x coordinates negative 2, what's with x, our y is negative 1, and our axis of symmetry is a vertical line, so it's x equals a number of negative 2. Here our a value is 3, so we went over 1, up 3. So if you look, these two are almost the same parabolas, but they're opposite in their x's and y's, which makes one sideways and one going up and down. Their vertices are flipped, and their axis of symmetries this one's a hoi of our a horizontal line, and this one's a vertical line. Okay, so let's look at these ones at the bottom of the page where we're going the other way around. We're going to write the equation um, of the graph. So here, first thing we want to find is the vertex, which looks to be 2, negative 3. And then we want to find our a value. And I can see, since I'm going over 1, up 1, our a value must be 1. So I just do y equals 1, I'm not going to write the 1, x minus h squared minus 2 squared minus the y minus 3. That one's pretty easy. Okay, let's look at b. Vertex seems to be at negative 1, negative 2. Our a value is over 1, up 2. So a value is 2. So that would be y equals our a value, 2. This is an x squared parabola, so x, opposite sign, plus 1 squared minus 2. Okay, this one, notice it goes down. So down means it's going to have a negative in front of it. Our vertex appears to be 1, 2. Our a value, if I go over 1, I'm hitting at a fraction, so be careful of that. So I'm going to go over 2, down 2. Let's write that down. When we went over 2, we were supposed to go up 4 times a. So here, my 4 times a is equal to 2. So a, if divided by 4, equals 2 over 4, which is 1 half. So our a value is 1 half, so be careful. If that first over 1 hits at a fraction there, don't use it. Go to, to, until you have a nice point that's crossing an intersection like this. So this is y equals a is negative 1 half. Be careful of that because it faces down x minus 1 squared plus 2. Okay, now this one's sideways. So it's going to be in the form x equals <clears throat> a times y minus k squared plus h. So find my vertex. My vertex appears to be 3, negative 3, 1. My a value looks to be up 1 over 1. So remember, the y value of the vertex goes with y. So x equals, my a value is just 1. So y minus 1 squared minus three would be that equation. Okay, is that it for this section? Or yep, that's it for this section. So go and practice.